Hello! <laughs> we just like started an intro and I started it with a hello and you you made me feel bad about it. <laughs> Did not. We're here with a brand new show, Three Body Problem. We are not just jumping on the hype because let me tell you, okay, I saw it before you did. I've actually had yeah. Three Body Problem on my calendar on my phone since, since it was first. February? Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember you, well, we watched a trailer and we were like, Sam is in it from <laughs> Game of Thrones. And then obviously, uh, Phil, it's not, it's who's not, actually Liam. Uh, Phil, yeah. <laughs> it's not actually Sam, you know, it's John. Which is so confusing sometimes. But we... Who the hell is the doorbell at ten past seven? You better tell them. You tell them. Who the hell? Seriously, it's better be good. You know what's worse? Then someone ringing your doorbell. Mid filming. And it being at the wrong house that they've got. Are you joking? It's worse. When they're carrying a takeaway in their hands For and they say, I'm God really sorry, this sake. is for next door. That is like, was it even a pizza? See if it was a pizza. No, it wasn't a pizza. It looked like Chinese or something. Oh, I love Chinese. It looked good as in it was just like that size and in a white plastic bag. I'm not feeling okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It was actually for next door. Was she like, like already no, no, walking away and you're like, come back I was here. Like, no, no, it's fine. You can just leave it with me. It's okay. I'll, I'll make sure they get it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, back to bragging about how great we are. Yes. We got invited by Netflix to go to the London premiere of the show Three Body Problem. Now, yes. did I forget the name of it at least three times on the night? Yes. Even though it was literally everywhere. We were literally standing in front of like the Three Body Problem like thing that is behind you. Vlogging. It's in the background of the vlog, and I'm like, "Welcome to three awkward." I, I've got it now. You know, I've, I've got it's it not now. even disrespectful because you just forget <sighs> everything. I just says to you, I was like, "I'm really nervous about this event because I tend to make a fool of myself at some point," <laughs> and I made I. Do you know, yes, okay, I made a fool of myself at this one point and it really bugged me to the point that right at the end of the night I oh. had to reapproach this celebrity and just be like, thank you so much for an amazing night. And he was so kind and he was just like, oh my God, like, thank you so much for coming up, like, love you. And I was like, nailed it. See that? He'll forget the fact that I made a tip myself earlier you in the tell night. Him? You'll tell him what you've done. <laughs> Have you ever heard of this really quite small actor called Benedict Wong? He's in the show. In the show. He's in the show. Okay, so a little bit of a freak out moment. He was a DJ on the night. Yeah, he did a DJ set. He done a DJ set late, like proper into like the early hours of the morning. And I was sober. So what's the excuse? And he was not. <laughs> he, he, was not. he was not. Out of the blue, right? He leaves his DJ set and goes through the crowd of people and who does he beeline for? Now, was I prepared for this? No. Yeah, like when, and he's actually quite like a big guy. I don't mean fat, like he's quite big. Oh yeah. And he's just walking toward me and I my pants, literally, cause I'm like. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> why? You, I'm taking a photo with you. Okay, at this point, I might as well have just like thrown my phone out the window because I was like, nope, it's not happening. So I struggled to put my passcode in because my nails are so long. I'm like this, freaking <laughs> out. And he's like, hurry up. I've got a DJ set to do, you know, mid song. He didn't say that. He didn't say but, hurry. I wasn't mean. But he, no, he wasn't mean to me, but you could tell he was like, right, ugh, I've only got so much time we can do this. And what do I do? I stick it on video. And he's like, no video, like take it off video. And I'm trying to swipe. And I hit record and he's like, <laughs> he's like, stop that. He's like, delete the video and put it on photo. I'm, I'm just having like a pure on meltdown <laughs> when I'm just like, I can't work my phone. Okay. And anyway, we managed to get it. We went into like the photo. We'll insert the photo right here. And there's something wrong with my phone where we had to hold for what felt like a, a lifetime. 
I was like, you've got a weird like three second timer. Or There's something like a timer on my phone, but it, the I think timer it's like wasn't a, on. It no, was a I low light. No, I think it's light. a low light thing. Yeah. It was a low light thing. So we were like this. It's a good photo. And it's a really good photo. But like he says as he walked away, he was just the what was it he said? He was like, nice hold there. Uh, yeah, so hard and he know. walked off, but I felt like such a... Where I was like, oh my God, like Benedict Wong like made a point to come to me, get a photo, and then go back to his DJ set, like ignoring all the famous TikTok people and all that. And Famous. Well, famous some lesbian. of them were Let's be honest. Some of them were quite big. And yeah, so at the end of the night, after the DJ, after he finished his set, like I kind of went up to him and spoke to him and the freaking security is like ma'am like trying to shove me out what was the american was he well (laughs) (laughs) and uh benedict was like leave it alone because he was trying to like shove me out i was like did they think i'm gonna like jump over the dj set and attack him i have no idea like what i was like what's going on here so i made a tit myself you guys and i the whole like way back to the hotel like i says to you i was like i felt so crap because now uh, obviously he's gonna remember me for his life guys do you know what i'm saying but like yeah i just made such a tit of myself but he he was that drunk he won't remember right (laughs) well if he does remember you he's definitely gonna remember me do you want to tell them what you did with benedict what do you mean we just danced together no no you didn't just dance together. Okay, we waltzed together on the dance floor. They waltzed for like a whole two minutes. And he spun me, but then shouted at me because because he wanted to be the lead. And I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> so <laughs> He's like, I'm the lead. He's like trying to practice the first dance again, but with Benedict Wong yeah, this not? time. <laughs> why not? He was awesome, you guys. And then, so we met one of the female actresses that you'll see in the show. And the female actresses, as opposed to the male actresses. <laughs> and it was her first gig. So That's it, her first show. It's the young, the one that plays the young Chinese girl. Yes. The one that, well... You'll see. You'll see. We'll, we'll point her out, obviously. And then I got to meet Sam! John, basically. And I, he was so shy. Oh my god. You, I felt so bad. You, you so I'm taking, him, I I'm swear. Taking, no, come on. I'm taking pictures. And um, of me he's, and he's obviously got like his face that he puts on when he's taking pictures. Betty. Yeah. He's like he's got like a little smile. And I'm like, go Barely. on, give us a smile. Uh, so so he smiled. And then after I took a picture, he's like, oh, like I was smiling. But like. My moustache. You know, my moustache makes... makes me always look sad. And I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> I was like, I've gave, <laughs> gave him like a complex. A complex, yeah. so I was like, so I don't mean to give you a complex. I was just messing. And I told him, I was like, listen, you, I always rooted for you in Game of Thrones, but I always worried that you were going to die. And then he was like, what, right now? I was like, no, not right now, you fool. <laughs> in Game of Thrones? I was like, in Game of Thrones. I was like, what, what is wrong? But you know what's interesting? For a celebrity, I completely out-confidenced him. A hundred percent. Which is so, such a nice bloke, though. Such a nice guy. But I was just like, isn't it so funny how some people who are in the public eye are so in on themselves? Mm. that I was like oh my god I feel like I need to tone it down because I'm acting like I'm the big one that's like hello everybody and he's the like shy like yeah yeah so weird yeah it's interesting because you wouldn't expect I mean it's a lot (laughs) it's a lot let's be honest it is a lot I have too much confidence I have confidence for days yeah you wouldn't expect someone who's like been on TV and you know they're used to so we um we watched the first episode in like this room, <laughs> get to that as well. So I was thinking, you know, we're the cool kids, right? We got sat up the back. Yeah, reminds me of the teenager days. However, we didn't know that this game has foreign bits in it. This game? This game is actually a TV show. Uh, it's a show. Has 100%. foreign bits in it. And you were all right, but see what I was sitting, I had the tallest giant right in front of me. So all I could see was the start of the subtitle. And the end of the subtitle. So I was just playing this game in my head where I was like, wonder what it says in the middle. Hmm. So I wasn't actually listening to like a damn thing they were saying. Well, I was. It was in Chinese. But I didn't know what 
it was saying. So this will be good for me because <laughs> I'll be like, oh, Hopefully. what else? Probably happened? still won't understand that, will you? We met a lot of other nice creators. Yes. As well, we did a couple of like investigative things so we could get some free cocktails. Um, we did the red carpet moment. We got some cool photos, which I'm sure you've seen on Instagram. And there was a best part of the night. I have no idea. I got to meet Liam Cunningham. Oh. And it was amazing. So he was still. I mean, on... There was a lot of good parts of the night. That's why when you're like the best part, and I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> to be honest, the whole night was great. But we um, were walking down the stairs to get you a drink, I think. He was just standing there by himself on the stairs. And I was like, this is my moment, you know? And, but it was really loud, like the DJ was on at that time. And I kept pushing you down the stairs. And obviously he has people in front of him. But I'm like, go! Like, come <laughs> on, move! Because I thought, see, if he walks away now, I'm going to be so sad. It was like, last chance, you know? And he turned around and he looked at me. I can't remember. I feel like I got in his face to kind of be like, hello. <laughs> but yeah, he turned around and... He looked at me and I don't remember what I said, but he was just like, you're so sweet. He was like, bless you. And I was like, I said the right thing. Like you were talking to dog soldiers. <laughs> yes, I was. I says like, um, I've known you ever since I was a teenager. Uh, my favorite movie was Dog Soldiers. And he was just like, oh, and I thought, well, doesn't everybody know that movie? He's never <laughs> seen it. But yes, yeah, so I got a photo with Liam and it's actually like my favorite photo. It's such a good photo. Because I feel like we both just look so genuinely happy but it was such a nice exchange yeah. between us and I think because it I was nearly in tears like when I walked away I was like oh my god you know but like in the moment I thought I don't really like it when people come up to me and they're a bit too much like Susie you know it is a bit much yeah. so I tried my hardest to be conscious of that and every time I approached someone, I was just very, just normal. You know, like, okay, you're a big celebrity. I don't think but... there's anything about you that's normal. I mean, you're a big celebrity, but like, so am I. So, hey. <laughs> don't you know who I think I am? <laughs> Overall, I just want to say thank you so much to Netflix for having us. Like, wow. Listen, we might have met Benedict Wong, Liam Cunningham. John. Jo oh. <laughs> John Snow. Yep. <laughs> but and the the other lady whose name is completely left. Oh me. man, couple names. But I met the most famous person of them all. Oh, you did. That's the right. Best, the best one. Yes. Block from Gadget Show. So he was yeah. also he was also a producer on Top uh, Top Gear. This is a really funny one, right? So we're hanging out with this other guy who's actually quite big in his own, right? Yeah. Uh, Hugh. Hugh, yeah. Hello, shout out to Hugh. <laughs> and uh, his girl, fiance. Fiance, Fion yes. Yes, fiance. And this guy walks past and he's like, I know him. I was like, so I, know, I, I, know was this, like, I know that guy from somewhere, but I've got no idea who he is. Yeah, so I was like, just go and talk to him then. And uh, he's like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. So like halfway through the night, I um, I was getting a drink for myself and he was at the bar. John Bentley. Yes. And he was at the bar and I just kind of tapped on his arm and I was like, oh, crap. I don't know what I'm going to say. I was like, he's looking at me. I was like, my husband knows you. <laughs> and then I was like, Oh, no, no, no. He thinks he knows you. He knows you from somewhere. And he's like, oh, really? Stay there. I'm going to go get a drink. Go and go get your husband. And I was like, what a nice guy. <laughs> he's a really nice guy. So, uh, not, yeah. We're not talking about politics and taxes and all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, overall, like this is the longest intro. We knew it was going to be a long oh, intro. Yeah. But yeah, we had a great time. And... It was nice to not be the people behind oh. the rock. What's... We got something. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll finish. It was nice to not be the people behind the rope. 
asking for autographs for a change. Like it was nice to be on the same level in the same building where we all just had access to each other. And yeah, like just definitely a moment. Hello. This is what we got. And we got goodies as well, of course, which this will make sense in the show. Please do this box. Look, we got popcorn! popcorn! <laughs> We actually got. It's probably so good as well. We got this, which if you've watched this show already, you will understand. So we have our very own thingies. Yay! Thingies! Yay! thingies! And we've got a second one, which I'm, I'm going to ask Netflix if we're allowed to give away to someone. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm not allowed to wear it. Yeah, you might just. I can wear. I can sign it too if they want it. Whoop, whoop. They're really cool, and you can see through them. If you wish to watch this unedited with us, make sure you head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk, or head on over to the Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for hanging out with us with this very long intro, but we had, it like, it makes sense to talk about it, you know, yeah. what we did. And uh, yeah, with that being said, this is a second watch of this episode, but for me, with the foreign bits, it's a first watch. <laughs> What's the balls? Do you see the balls? Mm. It's funny, it's an hour long episode. Yep. But it didn't feel like it. Nope. On the day. I definitely didn't get those words, counter revolutionary. <laughs> I wondered what that said though. Yeah. I think this episode for us is gonna be like reacting to The Last of Us. Yeah, because we obviously we know what's going on. It's crazy how young they are though, isn't it? Yeah. So she's the actress that I yeah, that we was sound speaking to. to. Yeah. She I made her night, I swear to you. <laughs> Her English was quite broken, but she understood me. Oh, so. oh. oh. I didn't know that. I don't think that actually happened. What? Did that happen? Yeah, of course it did. Ah. Einstein built a bomb! The more he learned. Oh my god. This is sad though, they bring his wife out to I... go against him. I gotta say, I wouldn't go against you, just for the record. No. Screw you all! It's just so interesting that they're like... Yeah. Just anti-science? Like it being like, oh, we don't really know either way. I mean, yeah, it's like they're so over the top, aren't they? <laughs> Dart with the academic authority! Yeah, Chinese Communist Party, so over the top. <laughs> Listen, I went to China and I saw some things, okay? That we can't talk about, otherwise we're dead. But I will talk about the song in the morning. Their song of praise. Oh yeah, the... China is so great, we are only great. <laughs> that was nuts. That's savage, I mean that I didn't brutal. see most of this. If you can imagine what I saw, it was like half the screen up the way. And you just stand there while they do that to your husband. At least fight them a wee bit, the kids. I hope she dies. 
stupid kid. This is her first acting and she got the job via Zoom. I know. Like, can we just for a second, please? And when she is drunk, she has bundles of fun. <laughs> It's actually so strange just like seeing them on like TV. That freaked me out like when the blood oh, went yeah. into his, his eye. Eyeball, yeah. I was like, oh gross, man. Yeah, seeing them and on TV is like... Got to admit, this is giving like, a lot of red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's just horrendous. So the way they leave him there as well. I know. Just like, this is a warning to everyone. It's funny actually, we were watching this obviously in a big like auditorium with a load of other people. And I just couldn't help myself constantly as I was watching. I was like, <laughs> I want to speak. I was, I was speaking to you though, but I was trying to keep my voice down. Dun 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 do you know John Bradley? John Bradley. Yeah, that's his name. So there is a black guy in this show, and I forget. Saul, is it? His name? Saul in the show? Don't know. But he wasn't there. And he seems to be like quite a big mm. part of it. Oh, yeah, I think it is Saul. Yeah. Benedict Wong! Benedict Wong! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so cool, man. Like, getting to meet these people. And let me tell you, the only person I didn't get to talk to was, and I'm gonna butcher her name, but I think it's Isa. Isa, Isa, Isa. Isa but Isa. she, I was looking at her photos on Instagram and I was just like, she's very beautiful on Instagram. She walked past me, right? And I swear to God, I was like, she is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, she just kind of floated on past me. She had a nice dress on. That was a beautiful dress. dress. She was she was vibing along the dance floor, but she was she was just getting ushered from room to room. I think as she's like one of the big big actresses in this, there was a lot of people kind of going for it. I honestly couldn't tell you what else she's been in. Me neither, funnily enough. Definitely wasn't Game of Thrones. Let's see if it was. I got my face. <laughs> she wasn't. Oh, and I uh, think he was there as well. Um. Oh God. The. The guy that played the High Sparrow in Game of Thrones, he was there as well. Yes. I told them we need to be involved. He always plays these characters that are quite like this as well. Mm. And see him in real life though, he is just big smiles like. Oh yeah. All the time, like I can't smile. take him seriously. This Karachi, chill. I studied cosmology and theoretical physics at MIT. The thing is, I don't see the guy that we were talking to when I watched this. Yeah, me neither. I just see the character he plays. One of the betting sites had him pegged as a favourite for the next Nobel Prize in Physics. You can bet on that? You can bet on anything. You can anything. bet on anything. <laughs> So you had an interesting theory with this one, with the I still see it. Yeah. History of mental illness, previous suicide attempts. I'll get to it in Just like the others. Because I made a joke and you were like, oh, well, actually. <laughs> Such a disgusting, yeah. I don't know. So I was like, well, he can't see it anymore because he's cut his eyes out. But I think that he could still see it and that's why he, like, he cut his eyes out. He could still see it and then he put on the wall, I still see it. But how could he write it so well? Does Oxford Uni actually have a particle accelerator? I'm assuming they do. I bet I that was at McLaren. <laughs> McLaren? Like that underground No, I'm assuming, I'm assuming they walked around a particle accelerator. <laughs> this guy. Yes, he wasn't there. They've shut the project down. But the power's on till midnight, so. You told us it doesn't matter how beautiful your mm. theory is, if it doesn't agree with the experiment, it's wrong. I think Interesting. That's fine, but yeah. Talk about it later. 
I think I just clocked what you're thinking though, that it's on till midnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's supposed to be shut down. You were just a baby. You're not throwing this away, are you? Oh, Saul. You mustn't. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, Leroy! <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I had no idea what it was. Oh. It was <laughs> person who has not made his great contribution to science before the age of 30 will never do so. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It's so stupid. Einstein wasn't right about everything. If anyone can figure this out, it's you. And also, whatever happens to older and wiser? I mean, yeah, it's just a, like she says, just a quote from Einstein. It doesn't make it true in the slightest. Do you believe in God? Is that what it's come to? You've got particles just flying around like magians. I don't. I accept that this defies all known laws of physics, but I don't think that's an argument for God. So what's left? Depends what you classify as God. If it's a being powerful enough to change the laws of physics as we know it, then is that not a God? High up. Yeah, it's pretty high up there, I've got to say. <laughs> Gotta use the same joke that I told you when we were there. Yeah, let's uh, do it. It's like Cerebro from X Men. Also reminds me of a room in Resident Evil Five. I have a question about this bit. Okay. And it really, but like it's been so hard for us because we weren't able to talk over it. Okay. She just goes into water. Probably about a one point two on a dive. To be fair. <laughs> Scrappy. <laughs> no, I have no idea what that is. But I was gonna say, I don't even know what she's not there is. now afterwards, is she? As in she's dead? Yeah, so she's even like she's well, not there. No, she's disappeared though. It doesn't look like she was... No, no, I think she's just dead. But she just jumped into water. How would she die from that? I don't know if it's water. Hmm. Oh. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's so rude. Also, who gets served that quickly? Second law of thermodynamics. Eventually, everything turns. That's a law of entropy. Explain to me what's going on. Okay, so are you ladies gonna sing a song? No. I gotta say, I love this bit where he just expects them to be like, "What are you?" Is like insert crap job here. Yeah. I started a company that manufactures them for a variety of potential medical energy and materials applications. Hi. Cool. I'm doing a bit of study analyzing the results of particle accelerator experiments around the world. <laughs> nice one. Right, next up. Well, you've, got, you've got a mullet. <laughs> so. so. I thought you were uh, models or something. Uh, yeah. About a month ago, all the major accelerators started generating results that make no sense. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. 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 I don't know why you'd be having such a serious conversation in a karaoke bar. In all honesty. I don't think it's normally a karaoke bar. Oh, what is that? I would be saying. Come have a smoke with me. I should kill you. Yeah, so will this. See, I found this interesting when we were watching it. About how smoking is so prevalent in the show. Mm. I went through the stone code line by line. Nothing. The code for the centralized software? How many lines is that? It's a lot, Augie. It's a lot of lines. Okay, so it's a hardware issue. She's like, she just got chat GPT to do it. <laughs> so every component checked four times over and every collider from here to Beijing. Okay, so what is Saul saying? He says it's impossible. What about you? Can't be impossible if it's happening. And that, that's Alice in Wonderland. So, you understand a bit about this kind of stuff. What is it about that that is so off? You get two particles, you whack them together. Right. And then you expect them all to go apart. Uh, away from each yeah, other. Yeah, like an explosion. Right. Not flip the Not flips. hanging about. <laughs> yeah, because they're kind of like hanging about each other. Because you're basically like smacking two particles together, splits them. Mm-hmm. But that's why she says about magnets, because it's all maintained within a magnetic okay. field. So she's like, well, if one of the magnets are off, then it could cause things to do right. unexpected things. Yeah. But yeah, definitely not if every single 
every one of Particle them. Particle accelerators. Do you see that? See what? That. Huh? <gasps> You're right, love. That'd be mental though, could you imagine? It would drive me up the wall. You imagine everything that you're focusing on. Do you know what I mean? And it looks like that. See, my question is, does it look like that? Like, does that, is it like it's printed on your eye? So everywhere you look, it's always in the center of your vision? Or is it in like a specific place in space? Because mm. that would be even freakier. Yeah, so I noticed here that it's all people of that same kind of job. Mm -hmm. So it makes you wonder why they're the ones that are seeing it. Yeah, well, it's a bad day to be a scientist. Well, I mean, you can't hack certain people's brains, can you? So that they see that. I mean, I'm sure you could with advanced enough technology. Jack snacks. Did not sleep at all last night. Why not? I don't know, Jack. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's because Vera's killed herself. His oh. sorry, you, you go. His character just reminds me so much of Simon Pegg. Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually love his character in this. And it's funny. I was reading a comment someone says about how he's such a crap actor because he always plays the exact same part, and I'm like, you haven't watched Three Body Problem, then have you? I laughed so hard at this bit because he's got like a suit on and he's at a funeral and he pulls out a massive bag of crisps, <laughs> and I was like, that would be me. Mm -hmm. So good, Pringles. <laughs> but what flavour of crisp is it? I really want to know. Where's tomato? Okay, I've got a problem with this scene. Okay. I've got a problem with this scene. Who the f wears their uniform to a funeral? Uh, yes, I thought the exact same thing. I thought that was so odd. Who wears their dress uniform at a funeral? Like Ridiculous. You, like you don't wear a black suit. Me, yeah, you don't have your own suit or just a jacket. So imagine going to a funeral and being like, I'm a captain. What's going on here? I was trying to figure it out on YouTube. Winner of the Epcar Award. Can't tie a tie. Well, Lord Kelvin thought that Adam's- You know what else triggered me? That's a half Windsor she's done, so you can't even tie a tie. <laughs> this service is now approaching Oxford, where this train will terminate. Please make sure you have... I was like, that's a well nicer train than the one we were on yesterday. What's wrong train? I don't know, that, that one just looks really clean. Apart from it being delayed by about half an hour. Gosh darn you of anti-West Coast. <laughs> Yeah, having like the blur behind the number is just so creepy. See, I wonder how she did so die. Sorry for your loss. Just the impact? I, I mean, she well, landed weird, I get that, but... Yeah, I, I personally, I didn't understand it. I don't know. Jin's looking good. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. Oh, he's looking good as well. <laughs> what? Cough. There's a lot of X's going on here. Oh. You've got those two, and then you've got, is it Augie and Sol? Yeah. I don't know if they're X's though. Hey. Which gives them a wee kiss, so. Yeah, you know. Which, as you say, I feel like that scene there isn't very X-y. Mm. That's very, uh... Trying to there's, get Z. Uh, there's a uh, unfinished business. E. Did you see the neurologist? Yeah. What do you say? She. She. No. Jesus. <laughs> I love. I love that so much. So that internalized sexism. Because we've all done it. Yeah. See now the two neurologists that we've spoke to have both been guys. Mhm. Mm so we don't know anything about him. Just that he has a helicopter. And he seems to know... Her. I 
as an Octavia panic attack in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, the number or the constant bashing? <laughs> He's like, I wanted to go. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to the next episode of this, yeah, obviously, because yeah, like too. now we're just kind of breaking this episode apart because we've seen it. Yeah. But there's a lot of comments from people that are like, I don't like it because I'm not smart enough to understand it. Mm. And that excites me. So oh, yeah. I'm like, all right, okay, let's see what you guys didn't get. I've got him here, so it's fine. I think people don't like a show that they actually have to maybe know something. Mm. Do you believe in God? Strange question, don't you think? Uh, yeah, it's not as strange as jumping into a Cherenkov tank, but sure. Or is she acting weird, or...? I don't think it is a strange question. Every major accelerator on the planet. Well, she must have been depressed about that. Yeah, but to kill yourself? She was a bit of a killjoy, if we're being honest. I can't imagine you, like, someone's just died and you're like, she's a bit of a killjoy, isn't she? No, no, I think it's just water that was in the tank. Were you looking at what the tank was? Yeah, sorry. Isn't that right, Augie? When, you, when your company goes public. <laughs> Augie! <laughs> I'm making a what of myself now? <laughs> the Nanotechnology Research Centre. That's probably the most boring name I've ever heard. Oh, says so the guy who named his company Jackson. Yeah. It needs to have something to do with AI and crypto in it. The rest are just there for their mandatory science course. <laughs> we were all that one kid. Yeah, that's true. Are you two? Oh, oh. oh. <coughs> oh fighting and. Jack! Shut your mouth. Jack. You want to know as well? Jack, I love you, but I swear to God, if you don't shut the up, I'm going to punch a hole straight through your head. And what was it you said to me? <laughs> that, that wouldn't stop me talking. So I'd be like, uh, you know, I know I should stop talking, but I kind of want to see you punch a hole in my head. <laughs> Try for bloody smoke again. These smokers are ridiculous. I know, disgusting. My dad's the same though. As soon as there's any sort of uncomfortableness or panickiness, it's like, boom, cigarette. Which is strange because nicotine is a stimulant. But people smoke it to calm down. Hey, I. So you said to me that there's something about this scene that I Isn't missed. It? Yeah, just, well, it's not this scene. It's later on you see CCTV of this scene. Mm. It's not hopeless, though. Really. <clears throat> the Lord has a better way. The Lord. Listen. There's so much I want to say just now because I know things that happen after this, but I'm like, I don't know if I should just say them, you know? We'll count down. Like, she wouldn't believe in the Lord, obviously, mm. because How she's a realist, just you want to say. Yeah. But then, if what you told me is true, that means that she's contemplating, mm. you know, both sides. You put an end to your work. No more nanofibers. You shut down the lab. It's simple. Who are you? Would be suspicious as well. It's so interesting that whoever's doing this is trying to keep humans from being advanced. Yeah. Like, why are you telling them to shut no down their research? Mm -hmm. What don't you want them to find? Or what control do you want to have over people? And that's what I was saying yeah. about shutting down the research, the girl that killed herself at the start. Mm -hmm. It's like she, she loved that work. She was shutting down that research, but Saul was like, oh, well, it's not, we've got the power until midnight. And it's like that was, her time was running out because he wasn't stopping the research. Mm-hmm. See, I was wondering what that was because I couldn't read what was on it. Mm -hmm. I was like, is it some sort of like Arduino or like some like small like a microchip type thing? Just shoot the color of the outside ring. I didn't realize. And then we went back to 1967. This really weirded me out because I didn't know if I thought we were on the ground looking up at trees, <laughs> not the other way around, and it really freaked me out. 
So you don't think that this is anything to do with like a higher being. You still think that this is just like a terrorist, maybe, that wants control. I know what it's about. What do you mean? Like I know, I know what's happening. Well, not what's happening, but I know like what's doing it. If that makes sense. How? Because when I first looked into it, I was like, "What's what's that about?" <laughs> well, I think I know anyway. This book is how old? Thirty-four years old. It's crazy to think that you're chopping down something that's been on the planet for between three and four hundred years. I know it's quite a shame when you think about it. I don't want to accept the National Press report. I'm not a reporter. I'm Bai Mulin, a member of the same opinion as you. Oh yeah! 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 Oh yeah, I think it's something, something strange in the neighborhood. And who are you gonna call? The journalist. This book has a very strong impact in the Western world. It explains the effects of human behavior on the environment. If the military continues to maintain this unethical behavior, I have no idea what this book is. Oh, there's a lot of people in the Western world. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the Western world. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the Western world. Nothing exists alone. But it's anything from the West, you know? You look at it. But be careful. Don't let other people find it. Like, what is his game plan here, though? Like, what's the, what's the point? See, I was wondering if he was intentionally trying to get her trust so that he could give her this book, like Entrapment. Mm -hmm. Basically trying to get her found out, but I don't know. Because surely he would use her as an ally to be like, what is in this book? Mm -hmm. And that's why he's come to her to be like, you speak English so you can help. He seems to know though what was in the book. Don't trust him. You don't need a man. It's hard. It's like, well, maybe he is like genuinely into her. It's only been an afternoon. Okay. Everybody in the room made really weird noises when this scene was on. I think it just uh, felt so awkward. Like, everyone just went super weird and was like looking away or like, chatting, like, chatting to the person next to them or something. And it was like, God, I'd hate if an actual sex scene came on. <laughs> like, a Game of Thrones style. Just, like, suddenly everyone would just be like looking down, you know? It's just so funny, like, seeing people's reactions to mm. stuff. I loved this. She's like replanting. I wonder where she got the seeds from. Mm. Ah, probably around. I actually said this out loud when we were there in the, the cinema room. I was like, the book's gone! And I was like... <laughs> I was like, oops. Because it's so hard for two chatterboxes to sit in silence for an hour and watch something you knew you were going to react to. Yeah. <laughs> You son of a bitch. But how did they find out that he had a book? Because he's a snake. So do you think they just found that? I'm so confused by that. Ah, uh, it's in English and you speak English. But how would... Oh, because maybe he also speaks English. So there's only two. I don't remember. Yeah, so he's looking at her as if to be like, you're not dobbing me in here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he ratted her out. Look at his posture. Yeah.
Yeah, I think he ratted her out, and then she didn't. When they were like, "Where did you get it from?" She's like, "Nah," which just shows how much better than her own mother she is. Well, I didn't think that he did rat her out. I think that they just found it. They locked you up for how long? Three months. And this was the first scene that she filmed. Yeah, this is her first ever acting debut. This、yeah. scene. You are the most famous actor in the world. You are also his student, and your grades are A. So, in the organization, many people see you as a disaster. But I don't think that. You have your own skills. 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 But then, when she doesn't get her own way, no, it's it's more this bit. She's like, oh yeah, if you if you sign this, then you can rejoin the construction corps. I said, well, if you didn't want her talent going to waste, why have you got her doing a crappy job? This article's content and your faculty members don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, that's what she said. There's a story about the water in a second as well. We need to find evidence to arrest her. 我不知道父亲跟这些人有过联系，这些内容都是真实的，你妈妈都知道。I like her mom can be trusted with anything。如果不签，你将会被军管处判刑。到了那个时候，我可就帮不了你了。I'd be like, good, you're not helping me right now anyway. Oh no, crack on. I'd be like, oops, oops. 我不能签。I know I'm not going to get a load of innocent scientists killed for you. So the story of the water in this scene, right? She actually asked for this to be freezing cold water, didn't、yeah. she? And the guy was like, "I'm not going to do that to you." Yeah, so it was actually warm water that they poured over. Maybe she thought that if it was cold, she would have like a better reaction. But well, I feel like that said, was fine. They said they're、anyway. like, no, you're gonna have to give us some acting. <laughs> but what she did there was fine anyway. Yeah, I thought it was good. You and your teacher, you're just the first one. You're not the last one. Keep sleeping. I gotta say, I would probably be stubborn. Like、oh, yeah. her, and be like, "Nah, whatever, man. Like, I don't want to live in this crappy place anymore." Anyway, I'm just one of them where you're like, "I'm dead anyway." Yeah, I'm not dragging other innocents down with me. Yeah. I think as well when you're basically slave labor, you're like, "Well, what's the what's the alternative?" Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so nice to be able to read the subs. <laughs> What a view, though, eh? Hmm. You 本来面临的审判就是罪有应得，现在摆在你面前有个立功赎罪的机会。这里是个军事基地，这可是最高机密的研究项目。I can't wait actually to get the information that's in here. Like as the show goes on, get more of. Oh, find out what they were doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know it's a communications. Yeah. 我可以在这里待一辈子。I love that though. That she's like, "Yep, I'll, I'll do it. I'll stay in your science thing." Funny though, they says that the guards were all losing their hair, but actually, do those guys have no hair? They might do. They might have that like、Probably. Asian thing going on, where it's like bald at the top and down at the back. That is interesting, though, that you picked up on that, and they've got hair. Black balls. Any progress? More than you think, less than you want. Anything happening with the Oxford Five? Maybe some strange CCTV footage on Salazar the night of Vera Yes. There、See? you go. There's no、right. one sitting beside her. Yeah, yeah, and she's looking over, and there's no one there. Yep. I never clocked that. My satellites don't malfunction. All right. Now, what about that thing in Tehran? The shiny bicycle helmet. The shiny bicycle helmet. Get our hands on it. I've got one. I got one. Clarence, you've been fired from Scotland Yard, MI5, and OSCT. That must be some kind of record. I've got a knack for failing upwards. You don't fail any higher than this, Clarence. This is your last chance saloon. Don't fuck it up. 
I don't know, if he fails this, he might become Prime Minister. Maybe. Yeah, so that is interesting, though. It's like, so she's talking to herself. She's seeing the numbers, and it's happening to that entire group. Or I don't well, know. I don't know if it is. She's the only one seeing the bloody numbers, isn't she? So I wonder why all of them are on his radar, then. Not sure. Sorry to ask, but did she leave a note? Or any explanation? Which makes it very suspicious. Again, interesting that she said work's not going well for all of us mm-hmm. as well. Did she ever ask you about God? We are not believers in this house. We're scientists. I love that line. Did she do anything strange? See, they say about God, but much like um, significantly advanced technologies and distinguishable from magic. Significantly advanced technology could be indistinguishable from, like, a deity, like a god. So this is really interesting to me. What kind of game is The this? way that, as you say, it's not connected to anything. So okay, it obviously connects with your mind. That's Wi-Fi. So it's like, what the heck does that mean? I mean, freaking MetaQuest 3 doesn't connect to anything. Well, I'm just saying Sword Art Online is quite scary if it's real. Uh, I, I don't know how you expected that not to roll. <laughs> beautiful. I was. Time is a month. I don't know how we didn't twig just based on how she looks there. Yeah, that's true. The entire it was, yeah. room was like, no! I know, everyone was like, whoa! <laughs> like, wait, that's her? So she doesn't obviously live out her entire life here. Mm hmm. Dun dun dun! Spoilers. We have what? A bomb? A bomb? A bomb? Who Obviously, the Chinese are like, nah, listen, missiles are boring. We need to kill them from the brain! Inside out. They're trying to use particles as terrorism. No, I don't think so. Oh, I didn't like this scene very much. Okay. I actually looked away when we were there. I was like, no. It's not very nice. Oh. How would that happen? Your Oh, what was the target? What was the target? Don't know. Do you actually not know? No. Oh. I feel like I need to play the video game at the same time. I love, I would totally, like, as soon as I got home, I'd be like, right, what's this video game? That's crazy. <laughs> Do you think they were annoyed when Apple came out with their Vision Pro because they're like, we told you to like copy our homework but make it different? I just wanted to know how they would actually manage to do that camera scene. That this has like a reflection on it but the camera's not reflected. That was cool. You know? Obviously it's really interesting that Vera would have this given that she's a scientist. You know, I can't well, listen, how, are they, how are they getting their VR headsets? It's obviously, like you say, it's like um, sword art where it just takes your brain waves. Because mm-hmm. they're not moving about in real life. I wouldn't do it. Like, if something like this actually came out, I wouldn't do it. I've seen too much, yeah, I've seen too much anime. No, I would totally do it. <laughs> Crispy! Oh, that's creepy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, but there's nothing there. I don't understand. Yeah. What about the countdowns? Yes, if they happen to scientists. Suicides, if they happen to scientists. Anything strange happening to scientists is relevant. Why not the countdowns happening to anyone else? Well, that's it. How would you be able to create something that only affected someone who 
like their job was a scientist. Mm. I don't think it's just because of their job. I think it's very specific people. Just the non-god be believers. Time to be a scientist. Okay. Time to be a scientist. What are we doing here? Not what you're thinking. I don't think anything. Yeah, you are, and it's not that. You asked me to come. Here I am. On this moon this night. In this beautiful place. Tu con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. Deserve that one. She literally said no, pervert. Although they, they do seem to have a thing between them, so it could be confusing, you know. What's going on with you, though? I don't want you to know. No confirmation bias. Just watch and let me know what you observe, if you observe anything. Science, dude, that's why you're here, okay? I understand my rule. It is interesting, though, because she's like, well, if I tell you, then it might twist your judgment. Yeah. So I just want you to look up and tell me if you see a shooting star. It looks like Morse code, but it's not. You know Morse code? I know all kinds. Of Do you know Morse code? Um, not really. I could recognize it if I seen it. It's something that's used in a lot of like puzzle things. The name should reflect and support what it feels like to eat the cereal. It's toasted. Like we know that much. Shut up and observe. Not even midnight yet. Two minutes to midnight. See? Your total journey time. What I'm going to do next, maybe some people are not in good health. 但是由于杨总工程师的反复请示，专辑也批准了，我们决定把红岸工程的真实情况告诉你。Oh baby. Okay, what, what the hell is going what, on? Like, what the hell is this going is on? This is not what I thought this show was. Which means? Which means? So it's a communications device. But who are they communicating with? The zombies! This is nuts. Yeah, I loved it. That is giving me chills again, but imagine watching this on like a huge cinema screen. It's because the earth is flat and it's a projector. The sky is a projector. I did not expect that everyone would see it. Yes, I, I literally thought only the scientists were going to see it. Yeah. Shit, it's a code. So does that mean her numbers have gone away? That's what I wanted to know. No, I doubt it. See, and that's the thing, I'm like, so were they communicating with the future? Oh, do you think it's some weird, like, time thing? Not sure. There's a enemy. It's not letters. It's just numbers. Which numbers? The same numbers that she said. Oh. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, no, the numbers I thought that turn I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see. <laughs> I think we already saw that actually. I uh, didn't watch it. <laughs> the numbers the the Chinese girl said and he was like, ah, oh, well remembered. That's the numbers I thought that oh, Saul no, was no. actually gonna mention there. Off. No. But the Morse code was the numbers that any person that could see the numbers would have been seeing. I th no, I think that the people that can see the numbers all have their own numbers. Because so the Indian was... guy at the start, oh, what looked like an Indian guy, he um he was writing down all the different yeah to two zero. So do you think that they're communicating with just one person at a time? I don't and... know if it's just one person at a time, but I think that each individual person's got their own timers to be like. You either stop what you're doing or you, like, you did. Ah, uh, so it's going for her. The thing that makes me interested, though, It's going is, for her first, then. Are they actually killing them, or is the numbers going down to zero freaking them out that much that they kill themselves before it happens? Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm sure I've seen something like that before, where it's like, just the, 
just the thought of having a clock that's ticking down to zero when you don't know what that zero means. Yeah, it would be pretty freaky, I'm not going to lie. When it's just coming up everywhere and you can see it and no one else can see it. But I'm confused about when, back in time, they did that radio wave or whatever it was and it killed all the birds. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, what, what was that all about? I'm assuming that whatever it was was letting off a strong enough signal that it was just killing the birds. Mm-hmm. Because it was moment, when the birds flew in front of the... Yeah, the big... Dish. Dish, yeah. At the moment, obviously, we're going to have more questions than... Answers. answers. You're not going to figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, of course not. Based on the first episode. But, like, I didn't know how this was going to go for us today because ultimately... Oh, it's hard. Yeah, it's definitely hard. We got to watch this, you know, at the London premiere with the celebrities. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just going to put it out there. It was pretty cool. So everything we watch from now on will be... Is brand new, yeah. Completely brand new. And yeah, this will be... For us, anyway, this is quite a long premiere of the, the first episode. And ultimately... You will have had to have watched the first episode before you come here with us because we just kind of talked pretty much all the way through that. Oh like, yeah, like, like if you haven't, literally. if you haven't seen the show, don't watch it with us. And I think <laughs> that we we had more of an insight onto that because we were there discussing it with people like from the show. Yeah, you know, and we've got stories from the cast and stuff like that as well. So. We're the interesting ones. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. But expect the next episodes to be like regular reactions. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> as regular so. as you get on this channel. Pretty much. I reckon we're gonna put Breaking Bad back a little bit while we get through. Yeah, we've got this one show. one episode to post, and then it'll be well, yeah. well, that that one will already be up. Uh, that one will already be up. But yeah, we'll probably push Breaking Bad back. A little bit. Let you guys miss it, because it doesn't seem like many of you are watching us much. Anyway, so we will be back with more three body problem very soon, and we will also have our regular Shogun Showtime. Yeah. Thank cool. you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our story time at the beginning. See you later. Bye. Bye. And this helmet is mine. Beep boop.